Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I am working on a mini uh, acrylic painting on a small canvas. This is the last of the four that I created for the um, family reunion fundraiser thing. Um, I'll try to remember to link... Well, it's only four, but I guess it could be a playlist. I'll try to remember to create a playlist and put them down below. In case you haven't seen the other ones, you can take a look if you would like. Um, at the very end, there'll be a group shot of all four of them. Um, yeah, anyway, if you're interested. Oh, I want to thank all the people that have subscribed to me this month. Or, yeah, it was this month in August. Um, and we're only on August 10th. But I had a little jump in subscribership, and I'd like to welcome everybody who uh, subscribed to my channel. That is awesome. And if you haven't, think about it. Um, if you like the content and stuff, um, hit subscribe and the bell, and uh, you'll get to see more. I do a lot of variety of stuff. <laughs> um, I'm kind of all over the map. I like lots of different things. <laughs> August is also abstract August, and I've been doing the prompts, so I've got I've got footage for that. So that's coming next, in case anybody's interested. Hopefully, um, the footage turns out. I haven't looked at it yet, and of course, it's still going. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a sand dollar. I just kind of put in a little. Blue. I added a little yellow to the blue to try and make it a sort of a greenishy blue color. It's not really, but that was the plan. And now I'm just giving it a coat of white. Sand dollars are kind of a creamy white color, right? So I figured I would put white down and um, have that be what the sand dollar is. And it looked like my video jumped there. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, hopefully it didn't jump too badly for you. I have zoomed in, and every once in a while I have to shift it so that my hands are <laughs> in screen. Um, I'm also doing a lot of mixing on the side. Sorry about that. But because I zoomed it in so you could see what I was working on, um, you don't see me mixing over there. Um, I've edited a bunch of it out. I might edit more. We'll see. Anyways, I'm giving this a good coat, and then I add a little bit of gray. Well, kind of a blue-gray, what was left sitting on my craft mat. Just to give it sort of dimension. I've never painted a sand dollar before. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm always up for trying new things, and I, I, I don't know, some people, like some artists, they'll paint the same object over and over and over again, and they get really good, but you know what, once I've done it once, I'm like, eh, I want to move on to something else. <laughs> Am I the only one that does that? I should pick a, okay, there's one thing I've painted a lot of, and that is water with the sailboat on it. <laughs> <laughs> can't say that I've become an expert I've done it in multiple medias um, maybe it has to be an object you love to to think about I don't know um, but I don't tend to like paint the same exact scene over again or like the sand dollar um, I can't see, see me painting it again maybe a different type of sand dollar I don't know does that make me weird that I'm not interested in repeating um, the same thing? I mean, it would be good if I was, because then I would, like, have a lot more practice. Anyway, so this sand dollar has these little interesting, like, the little flowerish shape on there, and then some little holes, so that's what those little gray spots are supposed to represent. And now I'm trying to create a little bit of shading around it to make it look like it's sitting on the surface. Even though I said that was supposed to look like water. 
I really want it to sit on the surface. And I'm using my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. I have a couple of shades of gray. And as long as you blend them right away, they, um, they'll move. But once they're dry, they're pretty permanent. So... Do you ever watch yourself paint and say to yourself, you missed a spot? Do you see it? Yeah, I missed a spot. Um, I don't have the... Um, I'm sure I fix it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but since I started recording myself, you know, there's sometimes I would, before that, I would create something and I was like, I don't even remember how I did that. Because like, you get creating and you get in a zone and you just go. And you don't really think about. Um, so that's like a, why a lot of times I'll end up off screen. Because for, I forget I'm filming. I'm just creating. And you just kind of get in a zone and you're just going. And um, I hate white pens because they never work. Even my Posca. Anyway. So it's been really interesting these last several years to, to actually be able to watch myself create something. Um, because, see there, I just went over it with the white and I didn't even like pay attention that I hadn't darkened that spot at all. Anyway, I digress. I'm chattering. I don't know um, if you like hearing me talk about random stuff or not. <laughs> but anyway... Um, yeah, so it's been really interesting to be able to watch myself create something. In fact, I've I've looked at something that I have, and I'm like, oh, how did I do that? So I have to go hunt for my video. It's not that easy to go hunt for my videos on YouTube. So I'm here I'm adding some more of the gray um, pens. I was thinking I needed some some more shading. And decided to go for paint, I believe. That's what I'm doing over there where you can't see. And I'm just going to go along with some gray. I wish I had a picture of the um, sand dollar so you could see what I was referencing, but I don't. So I'm just adding a little bit more dimension around it, I guess with the gray. Now I've got a little bit lighter shade. Just trying to blend it around. Looking at it, deciding it looks like a hot mess. <laughs> So this little painting and the one, the little painting of the sailboats went, actually my uh, niece's two boys um, bought them. They're like in, I think they're still in elementary school. Well, I hope they like them. <laughs> Adding just a little bit of a black line and then spreading it more with the, the dark gray. I just wanted it to just have more of that contrast, you know. But 
I hope you've been enjoying these videos. This is the last mini canvas, at least for a little while. I might go back to my accordion books. I don't know. <laughs> if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Here are all of the mini canvases. And I thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.